Hello. I uh, made the monsters a little bit harder. First off, they now have an AI. And second off, there are now Titan monsters. Like this one. Baby's first Titan monster. What does a Titan monster do, you may ask? Well, in this case, she grows an arm. Now, uh, this is a level 8 Titan monster, and I'm a level 1 hero, so I actually can't do anything to it. Now, if you notice what's happening over on the sidebar, the enemies are um, stacking up. So they've arranged themselves with this nice long chain. Uh, now, the reason for that is because these enemies cannot actually switch with this queen monster. Uh, the arm is, is opaque. Um, it can't be ripped off and moved to the right, so you can't switch places with it. Uh, so in order for these guys to move, the queen would have to move through them, and she's not going to do that. So they're basically stuck being useless, because they don't even have a combo attack. But what they do do is, uh, is clog up the bar quite a lot. Uh, now, what's worse is what's going to happen on Mama Slime's next turn. Oh, I can damage the arm if I actually use all my power. So this time, she already had an arm, so she decided that she would summon another slime. And notice that what's happened is I've been shifted off because I'm always set to be against the middle enemy here. You've always got it off to the sides. So now I can't even attack this queen. You've got to really think carefully um, when you are attempting to... Uh, oh, I've been slimed. You've got to really think carefully when you're trying to take on monsters with so few heroes, because I can't hit these guys. I'm stuck fighting off this one guy. And look at this. The entire roster is enemies now. It's going to be a huge stack of enemies. Ah, what a nightmare. Shockingly, a level one character, a single level one character, is just not up to taking on a boss. Now, bosses, uh, Titan characters can also have, as they can be as long as they'd like to be, and they can also do some pretty complicated things in theory, although I haven't built any monsters that say if they were a dragon, they might be able to extend their head, and they'd have a neck, so you could have slimes, or, you know, smaller enemies between the body of the dragon and the head of the dragon, and the head could move semi-independently. Lots of cool stuff.